Hey y'all. So, um, I wasn't even going to post anything until I've at least gone to my first doctor's appointment. But I guess I just needed to kind of, um, relieve some stress and vent a little bit. So, as you guys know, I'm on FMLA, but I've been doing it in implements. So, I decided to take two full months off of work. Um, to help my mom because she'll be having her surgery soon. Mind you guys, today is her last chemo. Um, time just flew by. The, the tumor is much smaller than what it was. So now it's just time for surgery and then um, radiation. But she really needs my support right now. And although I want to support her, this time is not only for her because... If I were to go to work like I'm doing now for half a day schedules and stuff like that, um, I wouldn't be able to do anything but care for her and work. But I need to find out about my health as well. As I mentioned to you guys, I don't know much of anything about lupus. I don't even know which kind or what type of lupus I have. My understanding is there are three or four different types but I have many questions that I want to write down and ask my doctor um, but the first question I'm going to have for my doctor because this will be a new doctor is can they give me a referral to a rheumatologist because I want someone who specializes in this because I also want to be re-diagnosed um, to what I want to say getting a second opinion to me is wise if I'm going to take all this time to really find out what's wrong with me. Actually today you guys, I'm very sad because um, first and foremost, I found like ulcers on my finger. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see it well, but I'll show it to you guys. Like, here my finger is super hard. I don't know if you guys can really see it, like a little yellow spot. And it's on my other finger too, but it's like portions of my finger where it's really hard. And that just happened like literally within a day. I don't know why. Um, I also have been more fatigued. So I'm getting a little worried. Um, I'm trying not to overly stress. I truly believe each day has its own anxieties, as God has told us. So I try to worry about each day <laughs> once at a time. Um, but I'm also sad too because, as I think I mentioned in a previous video, I was promoted, you guys, to be um, a part of the management staff. And today, being my last day, they found the replacement. And I wanted to cry because it took me so much time to get where I am. Um, I worked for this company for like 13 years and I'm just being promoted last year. And I asked my manager, so what does this mean for me now you have someone new? Because he told me he would keep a slot for me. But does that mean that like, what, what will I come back doing? And he's like, I can't promise you anything. So I don't know if, you know, I'll have to start from scratch again. I don't know. Like, and I'm sad about that because I'm like, dang, you know, it's sad that you're going through something. You know, I didn't ask for my mom to get cancer. I didn't ask for lupus. And yet it set me back on what I have accomplished. So I'm a little depressed about that. She's a nice girl, but it's just the fact that she's taking my place. And I'm good at what I do. Um, I manage a full cafeteria. And um, when I first started, it was a little difficult. And I've gotten the trust of the employees. And I know how to manage each employee now to the point where we struggled at the beginning with them accepting me as a manager instead of one of their co-workers. And we finally have gotten to a place where my team works well with me. And we were making so much progress. And my manager even said himself, he was like, you guys were making progress. And now the days you haven't been here, that's what pushed me to hire someone new is because they have been basically going back from like where we were day one. 
and you know it sucks you know because he used to tell me like stuff like how much big plans he had for me because of how good I am at my job and now this really prolonged it but you know um I'll go back and be happy to do whatever is needed or required of me but if I'm not going back to be a manager or a supervisor I probably will have to find something that makes me more happier um, most people say well you know just look at it it's just a check but it's something you do a good portion of your day so whatever it is that you do for work you want to at least somewhat enjoy it so um, if I can't go back doing what it is I enjoy doing then um, I'll probably eventually have to find something else. I was thinking about starting my own business. Um, I bake cakes, y'all. So, um, you know, I enjoy doing it. It's fun. I'm creative with it. I think my cakes are pretty good. Um, I was thinking about doing a taste sample because I feel like you might like something doesn't mean that you're good at it. Once other people tell you that they like it, that's when you know you're good at it. Um, I was thinking about doing cakes by the slice, $5 each. But I need to see how much I'll be profiting from this. Um, the name of the business was going to be called Honey. When I was in college years ago, uh, I went for graphic design, and during graphic design, I was told we had were given an assignment to create a logo of any sort and decorate it. And I decided to do a logo called Honey. And so what I did was an H, and instead of doing it all, I did like a bumblebee. Yeah, it's like a lot going on in my background, like outside. I'm in the hospital, but I can hear like somebody like literally about to fight in the hallway. It's a mess. <sighs> but anyway, so um, yeah, like that logo still sticks with me to this day. Um, and I actually was going through some old paperwork when I was in college. And I think I'm going to use that logo. So, like, um, I'm going to get business cards and my main things, because you got to work with your strengths. My strengths is strawberry shortcake, lemon cake, and, um, and, uh, uh, red velvet cake. So, and the good thing about my cakes are, because I am vegetarian, I'm very health conscious, I don't use like egg yolk, I don't use um, milk, I don't use um, butter or oil. I use instead healthier ingredients such as applesauce, bananas, um, almond milk, egg whites. So um, not only do they taste good, but they're health conscious as well. So it's like half the calories. So I was thinking about doing that, but I don't even want to start into that right now my first priority is learning more about lupus and also being very knowledgeable about my mom's cancer as well which i feel like i'm way more knowledgeable about my mom's cancer opposed to lupus so she's suffering from the um, invasive ductal cancer uh, which is a form of a breast cancer her cancer is aggressive um so i have like so much notes and things I've written down about her and yet just don't have anything about me so um as I told you guys it is all to come and please comment please give me advice please tell me something that you've learned on your journey of um your illness um I hope that I will not have to be put on medication but if push came to shove and I had to um I am a anti-medicine person but I'm a want to live my life person too so if anything keeps me or prevents me from living and medication helps me then I will sure take it that I would be a fool not to 
so it's been cool chatting with you guys i'm trying to pick up my spirits and be find something happy about today um the good thing is that it's her last chemo on like i said on the negative side i'm just a little sad that i'm getting my place taken um my position will probably not be there for me when i come back i'm a little sad about that but you know jehovah is wonderful and i don't know what he has um for me later in life so you know if you would have told me three years ago i would have been managing i i probably wouldn't have believed you so um and i'm the type of person too when i want something i work hard to get it so with my attitude and my lovely god things will work out they'll be fine so all right you guys it was nice chatting with you and i will definitely be posting something probably this weekend once I come back Friday from my doctor's appointment and we'll see what the next step is. Until the meantime, stay strong.